do 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 I decided to do a different type of sketch where you block in the shapes of where the colors are. This type of sketch will usually make the painting look more realistic at the end. I started painting and I did not like that orange so I changed that. I actually still don't like the orange, so I think I changed that by the end. You may be wondering, why is she putting blues and purples? It's because the fur is black, but I don't want it to look uh, too black. And this usually lightens it up and makes it more fur-like. I realized it kind of looks like she has a really long face, but that fixes itself. This is where I start using black and it looks way too dark. This is why I put the purple and the blue. I've realized I ha haven't put that many orange spots around her and she actually has a lot of those, so hopefully I fill those in later. This is where I realized this is actually a tail in the reference picture. Yeah, I forgot about that. If you're wondering about the little white spot on her foot, she just has a white spot on her foot. I'm finally trying to fix the little white spot under her chin, finally. And this is where I finally changed the orange fur color, and I like it way better now, it looks more real. spots. Now to start the background I decided on an olive greeny color. Little did I know that came out really dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Yes, that is way better. I had to twist the canvas around to get into the little crevices because everything was still wet.
back around it goes. Finally filling in the eyes. I painted the thing she's lying on white and I'm nearly done. Now some peaceful music. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Do, 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 do. Allison creates. Before I end the video, I want to say my new series, Julie's Journeys, is not replacing the original Allison creates. Don't worry.